Hello and welcome to The Mill. I am your host, Dusty Crane, and this week, you know, I thought about what to talk about because we're kind of in that lull between releases. Tapestry is still going out, it's still shipping. Um, in fact, Jamie talks about this in his Facebook live chat this week. He talks about the fact that, you know, Tapestry, he kind of underestimated what or how popular it would be. Um, and so pretty much every place that he had to ship it to, to distributors, um, he didn't ship quite enough. And, and so he's getting that remedied. And also, um, also the Canadian one, he talks about a warehouse gaff where they had to send, and I'm just going to make up some numbers here, like 510 copies. You watch, I'll get that just right too. Uh, 510 copies to Canada or something like that. And the warehouse actually sent the number number of units equal to the SKU. So if it's like SM150, then they sent 150 instead of 510 or something like that. So Canada is still um, being worked on and, and getting that resolved. He thinks that probably means it won't fall into September. But if you saw the live chat, you saw that. Um, he talks about the design day, the Stonemaier design day, and, and some of the games that he played and some of the games that he saw and um, some of the highlights of that day. Uh, those tickets are on sale now in the Stonemaier shop if you're interested in attending the Stonemaier design day, which is where um, you present games that you've designed or developed or you just want to play other people's games that have been designed or developed um, or in that process. Um, those tickets are available. But really the highlight of this week's live chat is it be kind of became a tale of two spoilers or teasers as it were because things have leaked a little bit recently in terms of wingspan and in terms of not so much tapestry because tapestry is a new release but jamie's been pretty open about the fact that he had some ideas for you know what i'm gonna let jamie tell you in his own world words here's a, a piece that i grabbed from the facebook live stream tony says any hints on what might show up uh, uh in the in the tapestry expansion so good news about tapestry expansion i until uh last week i really hadn't worked on it at all except for one specific component that i wanted to be in the expansion and uh, last week i started working on it and it really came to life rather quickly so we are going to enter play testing on the expansion rather soon um i i'm not going to hint at what's in it but I, I i will say that i think it's probably pretty obvious that it at least part of the expansion will be a more stuff element like more stuff that you've like more civilizations more tapestry cards stuff like that um, but i do want that more stuff and this is how I've designed it to feel really different and really new and add some some uh, interesting and even sneaky twists to the game. Pete says, will your new things for Tapestry fit in the core game box? Uh, probably not. We'll see. I'll try to structure it so it's pretty close, but it, there's a lot of stuff in that box already. How's that sound? Pretty good. Um, so more stuff, more Tapestry cards, more civilizations. And it kind of sounded like he's building it around a specific component, something he had an idea for, um, and that he wants these things to feel new and maybe a little bit sneaky. So it sounds like a new, a new mechanic. I don't think there's anything we do in Tapestry today that feels sneaky. So um, I'm really curious about that, what, what that means. And, and I mean, I know this is like very early. They're getting ready to do prototyping and playtesting and that kind of thing, but um I think it's it's pretty remarkable that, you know, you go from that he immediately, like, the idea came to him or the idea he had and, like, just whatever the idea was broke through and it's already into a play test state, um, which, I mean, I know those things change, but, I mean, that's exciting. So, I mean, maybe next year we could have a, a tapestry expansion um, or, or maybe the year after. I don't know, but, like, that was certainly exciting to me. Um, also... Uh, Jamie started talking about wingspan, but maybe he didn't quite want to just yet. William says, will the wingspan quick start promo cards be made available in the U.S.? Uh, so that's, I, there was a leak by our German partner about something that I wasn't going to announce until next week. So I'm not going to talk about that until next week, but I will talk about that very soon. Okay, so jamie mentions a a promo set he mentions that um his german partners kind of leaked a little bit early this idea of this starter set or whatever that entails now there is a link provided and i'll go ahead and include it in the show notes but it kind of um presented what fearland 
Fuhr. I don't know how to pronounce the German uh, partner, but it, it showed what they were going to have on offer at Essen. And there was this quick start kit and the actual BGG uh, forum post mentions that it's 10 cards or 15 cards or there's 10 cards in a promo and, and five instruction cards or something. But when I went to the, the website, I didn't see any of that. So I don't know if that's something that they took down at the request of Jamie or whatever the case may be. So we may very soon, I guess as early as Wednesday, when Jamie starts talking about the Wingspan expansion, we could also have a promo with some new cards, maybe. I guess we'll uh, we'll have to find out. What do you what do you think those could be? Um, I know that also in the Facebook live chat, Jamie had mentioned that he was. Someone asked if they were going to fit Biddy and Walter into Wingspan, and Jamie mentioned that the artists are trying, but just how that is going to look or what that would entail would they're still unknown. But on Natalia's Facebook or her Instagram live feed or her story or whatever those things are called, um, he or she posted uh, this image right here. That's that's a cat eye. I mean, it could be a cougar or something like that. It's it's very, you know, in that same style as Wingspan. It's very detailed. I think we're probably wise to not get our hopes up too much that I don't think this quick start kit has anything to do with, with this art here. Um, I guess it's possible, but I think this might just be, you know, if we're toying with the idea of cats, you know, let's kind of see what cats look like on a card would be my guess. But it is it is cool to see maybe the, the gears turning on another possible wingspan uh, promo or, yeah, I, I would imagine it'd be a promo. I don't think you'd have a, a, a whole expansion with just cats, but I guess we'll see. That also led to someone asking, what is the next expansion uh, for Wingspan, where is this focusing on? You know, are we getting Australia or Iceland? I don't know, Antarctica. Are we getting, uh, you know, where are we getting our next Wingspan expansion? And Natalia had posted, Jamie had mentioned that he doesn't want, he wants to tease it, but he's afraid that he's going to give stuff away. But maybe Natalia did, actually, because she posted a picture that was just segments of, here's the picture right there. Um, this just segments of different bird pieces it sounds bad but it's not like you know whatever um you know there's a picture of an eye and some feet and some branches and some flowers and um bgg user tawny frogmouth there was no name i can't get you a name so it's just tawny frogmouth um really deconstructed this image quite a bit and presented it to the bgg group to say I think this top left-hand picture is this. I think this is that. And and kind of went through what birds that, that Tawny suspected these pictures were from. And even went to Natalia's Instagram page and found other pictures of works in progress that met, clearly were the same image here, but there was more shown because it was early on and there's a little bit of an outline and nothing you know that for sure definitely gives it away, but one general consensus that was found there among the BGG uh, group was, it seems to me that everyone is suspecting Europe. Now, I don't know one bird from another. So, you know, any these could be make-believe birds that they're talking about. I don't know. Um, but the pictures, um, the BGG users were, were pretty confident. They think the next expansion is going to be in Europe. Um, I guess we will know for sure from Jamie uh, October 2nd, which is Wednesday. Uh, is when he's going to go ahead and start talking about it during his next live chat. So would Europe work for you? I'm For me personally, I am just excited to, uh, I guess, get new birds with new powers. I'm, I'm assuming that it's not just a, you know, same old, same old. We just get different bird art. Uh, we talked last week about um, that these images that they were showing, that play testing, there were some birds that laid sideways and there was some, it took up two spots. And then there were also some that, um, I think I forgot to mention, I think it was after, when I was in post-production, I was looking at the, the image of the play testing better. And there was actually like a teal colored, uh, card that was a round end bonus. And so, um, at the end of the round that you would, collect a bonus for some condition. It was not so clear that you could get that from the card or from the picture, but I'm excited really, regardless of the continent, to see 
you know, kind of what the next iteration of Wingspan is. And that, those are my thoughts for this week. I think next week is going to be a fun one. We're going to have to talk about current news, you know, whatever comes in that Wingspan expansion. But for now, uh, what do you think in terms of this tapestry expansion. I know a lot of people have a lot of opinions on what the game could use. So what do you think the game could use? Um, what do you think about the possibility of Europe being the next Wingspan expansion? What, if, if it is or if it's not, what do you want to see next? If not Europe, then what? And finally, um, what, what could this cat's promo look like? What would their powers be? You know, I was kind of just brainstorming it and thinking, you know, what if that was a way to take birds off your map, but they weren't playable anymore? Not like the the cats killed them. That would be dark, but like, like chase them off. And now your sanctuary is no longer a sanctuary. And so they've flown and they're no longer available, but now you have an opening on your, on your mat there. Um, I think that's probably one way you could use that. But what do you think? Uh, again, that's all I got for you this week. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys again next week. Thanks. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye. You did good until just then you yeah. tapped on it again. Tippity tap tap tapestry. That's why I shouldn't have a table in front of me. I, There's a lot of things you shouldn't have in front of you. <laughs> a camera. <laughs> Do that.